The Rumor Report. Guys, guys. With Angela, Angela Yee. It's The Rumor Report. The Breakfast Club. So Offset has been hospitalized after he got into a car accident. They said his car is totally destroyed. It's a Dodge uh, Challenger. It's green. They said he had to be taken to the hospital afterward for minor injuries, but he is going to be okay. And Cardi B, of course, rushed over there to be by his side when that happened. They're saying that he did leave the scene of the accident, and cops are trying to figure out why and if anybody was with him when it happened. They're saying that nobody called the police. Uh, They found the vehicle abandoned, and they called a tow truck when uh, law enforcement came. Ooh, drop on the cruise bombs for offset getting that money. It's called the Demon. That's probably one of the fastest uh, road cars that, that you can drive right now that's not on a, that's not a track car, the legally fastest car. And clearly it's one, of offset, it it's one of offset's throwaway cars if he just left it there. Very disposable to him. About 100 grand. Well, she tweeted out, Cardi B tweeted out, so grateful and happy today. God be giving messages in the weirdest way. I love you, Offset. No prayers up for Offset. Mm -hmm. I just mean you need to to slow down a little bit. All right, Mac Miller, in the meantime, got arrested for DUI and hit and run after allegedly crashing his car while he was drunk. And then he fled the scene of that accident also. He was driving his 2016 G-Wagon, hit a power pole, knocked it down. Him and his two passengers then ran (laughs) on foot. An eyewitness called the cops and told them which direction Mac Miller and his friends ran in. That's when cops arrived at the crash scene, ran the plates, and went to his house, and they found that him there, he confessed to driving drunk and from to fleeing from the scene. Paul Mac Miller upset him and Ariana Grande broke up, so he's trying to drink away the pain. You know what that means, right? What? Ariana then moved on to someone else. Come on now. We know how this works. Soon after a breakup, you drinking, driving, probably listening to Drake. Ariana had, had probably done moved on already, and he found out. All right, now. He might have had nothing to do with her. He might have just been drinking shots <laughs> with his boy. Okay. All right. When has this happened to Mac Miller before? Exactly. All right. Let's talk about porn star Mo the Monster. He is suing a director because he made him perform in a shoot where the white actress, and Mo the Monster is black, repeatedly called him the N-word. So he says the director, James Joseph Camp, tried twice to get him to agree to allow the white actress, Deborah Hinkle, to call him the N-word during the shoot, and he said he would not allow it. But, however, the woman still said the N-word to him twice during the money shot. So he's now suing. Hmm. What? I'm just trying to figure out if that's a fair trade-off. You get the bus off in somebody's face while they call you the N-word? You know what I mean? I don't no, we don't know you're what you mean. You're off in her face. Both disrespectful. It's not disrespectful. It's two it. different levels of disrespect. You busting off in her one's face. She calls level, you the N-word. One's... Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, If that was you and a white woman said that to you in bed while you were busting off in her face, would you be upset? If I can bust off in her face and do it in her mouth. That's a fair trade. <laughs> and wait, like, when you see, you go too far. Like, I just think, I, now that's that, a, that do, do Come do. on, now you can't tell me that's not a fair trade. She called you the N word and you bust off in her face and do do in her mouth? Could you, could you do, like, could you squat? You know if what? If you call me it. the N word, yes, I'll figure it out. Yeah. I'll All find right. a way to do Insecure it. Insecure season it. three forget has it. gotten a premiere forget date, it. so that's good news. Here is Easter Ray with Amanda Seals talking about the new season. I wanted to ask my Insecure castmates what question they got asked the most. Why is Molly such a mess? Good question. Are you like Kelly? <laughs> Who is your baby's daddy? Who is it? Mm. I always get asked, when is Insecure coming back? Do y'all know? August 12th! Yeah. Dropping the clues bombs for Insecure season three. Mm-hmm. Always here for that. One of my favorite shows on television. So August 12th, get ready for Insecure Season 3. Now That's get dope. ready for some other television shows. It turns out that BET is doing a series on ex-Detroit Mayor Kwame Kilpatrick. So they're doing a special series about him. You know Kwame Kilpatrick from Detroit. He was the mayor of Detroit from 2002 to 2008. He resigned as mayor in 2008 after being convicted of perjury and obstruction of justice. He was sentenced to four months in jail, released on probation. And then he was sentenced to 18 months to five years for violating his probation. I'm actually interested in that. Then in 2013, he got sentenced to 28 years in federal prison. Wow. Oh, he's still in jail? He's still in jail. Mm. All right. Now, Jordan Peele, in the meantime, has a a series, a Nazi series coming to Amazon. It's called The Hunt, and it depicts Nazi hunters in the 1970s. It's a 10-episode series, and it's going to follow a group of Nazi hunting individuals around New York City in 1977, and their mission is to stop Nazis from conspiring to mastermind a genocide in the country. So it's based off of real events. I would check Mm. that out. All right, I'm Angela Yee, and that is your Rumor Report. 